that's what I did for you know 40 more 40 plus years so uh, I think they're very interesting molecules people would say why are you studying them and I'd say think of the things that change your life you fall in love get married have a child a parent or sibling dies take a dose of LSD and then people stop what and I say for better or for worse many people when they take LSD or psychedelic their life is changed how is it possible that a small chemical molecule can diffuse into the brain, stay there a few hours, come back out, and they're never the same. So, I mean, that's a really interesting question, I think. Well, I've been pushing for it since 1969, so, you know, I'm really glad. I, I always thought these drugs got a bad rap, and you know, <clears throat> in the United States, one of Richard Nixon's former uh, colleagues, I think John Ehrlichman, said that the drug war was an invention to keep radicals and progressives from voting. They couldn't suppress them from voting, but they knew that the people that were protesting against the Vietnam War were also using marijuana and LSD, so they thought, well, we can't keep them from voting, but if we make these drugs illegal, we can arrest them, and then they lose their voting rights. So the drug war was a fraud from the very beginning. Well, there's, there's so much negative uh, thinking out there because among politicians, for example, where, you know, legalization of cannabis, when you think that cannabis was never really a dangerous drug, it was all a political decision, and now there's controversy over whether it should be made legal, there was never any scientific or medical justification for it. It was always politics, but then you have the politicians who make the laws and the police who think, you know, they hear it's dangerous and so we can't have this stuff. So. Uh, the Renaissance involves a lot of education, and people have to understand that, you know, I'm on, working on cases where people have supposedly died of an LSD overdose, and I say, no, no, but LSD doesn't kill people. And you start explaining, and people say, well, isn't LSD a dangerous drug? And I said, not really. It's one of the physiologically safest drugs there is. So people just don't understand. I think if people understood, so that's sort of part of the Renaissance, is younger people who have not been brainwashed by the older thinking, who say, well, you know, I have friends who took it and it didn't hurt them, and I took it and it didn't hurt me. So it's really good to see this. We can learn a lot. Um, really, we'll learn about how, a lot about how the brain works. That's the big question.